thank you to Ed's Gaming and to these channel members. Welcome to the continued adventures of Colin and Inigo. It's a nice day in Rift. If you do not mind, when we have a moment, I would like to discuss something with you. Remind me next time we are seated somewhere safe. We will do that right now. I'm right behind you. You just wait here, please, Lydia. I will remain on guard here. Mmm, yum. Sweet rolls are irresistible. Yes, Emperor. <laughs> Would you like to relax sure here for a while? We can have that chat. Good idea. You should take a break too. You deserve it. Do something about it like you are. Erin, you never cease to amaze me. You always see the good in everything. It's only because I've had an excellent teacher. Okay, sitting there isn't the best idea because he keeps chipping his tuppence in. What is on your mind? I need you to do something. Oh, any thoughts? The bee and the barb always smell scaly to me. In a good way. Okay, I need you to do something. What would you have me do? I will aid you if I can. Sit there. As you command, your majesty. It is good to be relaxing. Join me. That's the idea. I think we both deserve a bit of a break. Hey, did you hear what I said to that bandit the other day? I fear that you soon. Ah, you say a lot to pretty much every bandit we fight, Inigo. It is true. When I taunt them, they often lose focus. I also find insulting bullying idiots very satisfying. Anyway, I said I can smell your fear. You should have washed today. <laughs> it was quite funny. Just after I said it though, I remembered that I too had been a bandit. It hit me that I am at the last back on the right side. My soul feels cleaner somehow, as if the bandits we fight are little pieces of my misspent past washing away. I am lucky I got free of that life when I did. It would have only been a matter of time before someone like you came along and ended my wretched existence. From experience, I can tell you that most bandits are completely lost. They are violent thugs with ugly minds. I sometimes do wonder if there are any worth saving though. There must be a few, I suppose. But if you choose to live like that, you have to accept the consequences. You seem to have your regrets, Inigo. Yes, I know that in this world at least, killing is a part of living. We all do it to survive, for gold, or to put food in our bellies. But taking pleasure in the death of the guiltless for nothing more than sport is wrong. Some dirt never washes off. Yeah. I pretty much try to do what's right, but I have regrets too. Joining the Dark Brotherhood isn't something I would normally have done. It is a complicated world, and it is hard to get by without putting a foot wrong. Do you mind if I ask what it is you regret? Okay, um, what I regret most is I hurt someone that means a lot to me. I understand. I have harmed many people who deserved better. They haunt my dreams still. I believe with every good deed I do though, more and more of them leave me in peace. We may not be able to take back the hurt we have caused, but perhaps we can honor those we have wronged by helping others. Let us try to leave this world a little cleaner than when we found it, my friend. Anyway, I think that is enough about that for now. Did you want to talk about something else? How are you doing, Inigo? I am a little gassy today, but other than that, all is well. 
How is everything with you? To be honest, I haven't been doing so well either. I am sorry to hear that. What is wrong, my friend? I'm just... I've been feeling down. Kind of... The world all seems to be turning to crap and... I feel a bit helpless. We're supposed to fight Alduin. Have you seen that dragon? He's huge. I saw him destroy Helgen. So I suppose I'm worried about the future. I do not know what the future holds, but I believe in your ability. If anyone can succeed, it is you. <sighs> what if I don't succeed? Ifs, buts and maybes, my friend. They often kill success before it has had a chance. Fail or win, none of your doubts will matter in the long run. All you can do is try. As long as you do that, there is hope. I don't know if I can do it. Of course you are. There are many ways in which someone can be strong. But above all else, it is willpower and spirit that tend to win through. You have a lot of both. And I've got you on my side. Yes, always. As if you were not already unstoppable enough. There is nothing you cannot handle. Count on it. Thanks, Inigo. You're a good friend. Of course. Remember, I am always here if you want to talk. Do you believe we have a destiny? Yes. Uh, I mean, no. It is complicated. I believe we have a bit of control within the choices available to us. We may be more or less likely to choose one thing or another, but I do not think the future is entirely written. Therefore, we are not bound by destiny. Langley's predictions seem to back this up somewhat. Well, I do believe we forge our own destinies to some degree. I hope we do. Maybe it is a bit of both, yes. Of course, we cannot control much of what makes us who we are, but to say our lives are entirely predetermined seems a little much. We may not be able to control what we think in a given moment, but I think we can often decide which thoughts to act on. I think we were destined to have this conversation. I think it was likely that we would have this conversation, as long as additional random factors gave us a helping hand, which they did. It is an interesting subject. If we are bound by destiny, do we have any control at all? If so, where does it begin and end? Were you always going to find all eight eggs for Langley, or could you have called it a day at six? I have seen many people who blame their poor circumstances on fate. I have also seen people successfully change their situations for the better. Was that destiny also? Perhaps. But when the word describes either outcome, it becomes meaningless to me. I know what you mean. It does seem like a meaningless concept. When taken literally, yes. Now that I think about it, when I talk about destiny in everyday life, I am really referring to probability. I think. To be honest, <laughs> I am not sure anymore. Let us leave this topic for now, my friend. It is making my head hurt. Are hey, your circlets too tight? What is on your mind? What's on yours? Shouldn't we be saving everyone from Alduin or something? That World Eater is not going to kill himself, you know. Well, we were just talking about that. I've been trying to put that off. Kind of scared. Meridia is my kind of Daedra. She hates the undead almost as much as me. I'm glad you helped her. Dawnbreaker was well worth the trouble. You left quite an impression at the Thalmor Embassy. You are a party pooper. In a good way. You have more money than the gods, my friend. Maybe you could melt some down and turn it into a statue of us saving each other's lives. Priceless. <laughs> that would annoy Langley. 
That horrible lighthouse we explored still haunts my thoughts every now and then. I am glad we made it out of there, my friend. I was not sure we would. Long ago, I also escaped Sidna Mine. I disguised myself as a rock and rolled out of there an inch at a time. I have patience and cunning. I am the full package. You certainly are. I'm thinking I like this place. Our trip to the Thalmor Embassy was depressing. It is a shame that so-called high society is often morally backward and intolerant. I think Meridia owes me a special sword too. I did help you help her after all. Ah well. He did, and so did Lydia. Two dragons walk into an inn. One says to the other, It is hot in here. The other says, Shut your mouth. <laughs> How are you doing? Anyway? All things considered, I am doing well. How is everything with you? I'm much better after having this chat. Thanks, anyway. Good. Let us talk of other things. Let's go! I'm right behind you. So I hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you very, very soon. Say goodbye for now and you go. Goodbye for now. Tune in next time for more fantastic adventures starring Inigo the Brave, Mr. Dragonfly the Dizzy and Colin the Kind.